Greetings and welcome to our daily devotion for Tuesday, September 10th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our psalm reading for today comes from Psalm 58, beginning with verse 1. Do you indeed decree what is right, you gods? Do not judge the ch- do you judge the children of man uprightly? No, in your hearts you devise wrongs, your hands deal out violence on earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray from birth, speaking lies. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like the deaf adder that steps that stops its ear so that it does not hear the voice of charmers or of the cunning enchanter. O God, break the teeth in their mouths. Tear out the fangs of the young lions, O Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs away. When he aims his arrow, let them be blunted. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime, like the stillborn child who never sees the sun. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scriptural basis for our devotion today comes from the Gospel according to St. John, the sixth chapter, verses 43 and 44. Jesus answered them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. Clip the wings of wisdom. When Jesus said, don't grumble among yourselves, he wanted to to curb human wisdom or reason. We should also clip the wings of human reason when it comes to Christian doctrine. God's word isn't the kind of teaching you can grasp with reason. It doesn't reach the human heart that way. The more educated and the more sharpened a person's reasoning ability, the less he understands. Christian teaching doesn't appeal to reason. That's why our reason complains about it. I don't want to take my salvation out of my own hands and throw away all my good works in order to achieve eternal life. I don't want to place my hands and set my feet on someone else's, on someone outside of myself. Someone who, has, who was so silly and foolish as to let himself be crucified. How am I supposed to believe that Jesus is my Savior? Reason did not grasp this. We must take every thought captive so that it's obedient to Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. Jesus is saying, stop complaining that I claim to be the bread of heaven. You want to understand this on your own? You want to be smarter than I am when you, when you ask, don't we know his father and mother? But when I tell you how the father has drawn you to me, it can't be understood by your reason. When you hear about how the father draws you, reason draws you in a different direction. Whoever wants to understand these words must close his ears, shut the gates of reason, and let himself be a blind person. This is what God wants. Whoever refuses to be led by God, but wants instead to be led by human reason, will be irritated by the message of Jesus and will continually complain about it. Let us pray. Grant us strength that comes from vibrant faith, O Lord. By your power and guidance, move us to show forth our faith with words and deeds of loving service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, light of the world, you shine with the brightness of the sun in the darkness of our crooked crooked and twisted generation. Give us strength to shine as lights in the world as we live out our baptismal life by serving our neighbors with thanksgiving and joy as sacrificial offerings of mercy and love. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. Heavenly Father, God of peace and harmony, you would have your children on earth live together in peace and quietness. Frustrate the plans of all evil men who would stir up violence and strife. Spoil the weapons of those who delight in war and bloodshed, and, according to your will, end all wars in the world. Lead us to confess the truth of your word, that from the lusts of our own hearts come wars and fighting among us. Help us by your word and spirit to crucify our sinful flesh and to root out the evil that would lead to strife and discord, so that, to the best of our ability, we may be at peace with our neighbor. Mercifully hear our prayer and grant us peace in our days. In Jesus' name, amen. And taught by our Lord Jesus and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen.